since a couple of weeks I'm bringing you along with me in my journey of rediscovering Switzerland but unfortunately it's not always sunny so this week I want to talk about something else instead I want to talk about how to travel in Switzerland by train I want to start by explaining you what are the different types of trains that you can find when traveling in Switzerland and the different type of tickets that you can buy so let's get started <laughs> Welcome to Swiss Travels. Traveling in Switzerland by train is by far the easiest way to discover the country. There are trains everywhere in Switzerland, from north to south, from east to west, from the city center to the peak of the mountain, everywhere there is a train that you can take. Trains in Switzerland are very reliable, they are always on time, so even if you have like a few minutes connection, you will for sure make it, they are easy to take, clean and also very safe. The biggest state-owned railway company in Switzerland is the Swiss Federal Railway. The name is SPB in German, CFF in French and FFS in Italian. On the trains you will normally see written SPB, CFF, FFS because it's really the name of the Swiss Federal Railway in the three national languages. When you try to buy the tickets online, you will see that it will be always giving you the type of train that you're buying the ticket for. I counted 12 types of trains. I hope I didn't miss any. If I did, please leave a comment in the comment box below. First, we have the EC, so Eurocity. It's the train that connects Switzerland with other countries. Normally, when I go back to Italy, I always take the EC from Basel to Milano. The EN, so Euronight, is the same as the Eurocity, except that it's a night train. And then we have the NJ, which is the night jet, which is basically the international night train. Within Switzerland, we have the IC, which is intercity that connects all major cities in Switzerland. We have the IR, so interregional, that connects all major cities in Switzerland along with mid-sized towns. We have the R train, so regional trains which connects all cities in Switzerland. Normally they do all the stops. And then we have the RE train, so regional express trains, which is basically like the inter-regional trains, but they do a lot more stops than the inter-regional trains. We have the S trains, so S bahn, which are more frequent trains that stop at all stops. We have the PE, so Panorama Express, those are the panoramic trains. And then we have the ICE, which connects Switzerland with Germany, TGV or TGV, that is the train that connects Switzerland with France, and the RJX, which is the train that connects Switzerland to Austria. When you travel within Switzerland, so when you take one of these trains within the borders of Switzerland, you can take any of these trains and there is absolutely no difference in price or in ticket. Apart from the panoramic train and the night trains, there are a little bit of a special category. Otherwise, you can take an IR, an s bahn an ICE. Within Switzerland, you won't need a different ticket depending on the different type of trains. This is very different compared to Italy because, for example, in Italy we have the Freccia trains, which are the trains that connect different regions in Italy, where you need like a more expensive ticket and you need to reserve your seat, while the regional trains, which are the ones that do all the stops, the ticket is cheaper and you don't need a seat reservation. Within Switzerland, you don't need a seat reservation, you just buy a ticket to the city that you're going to and then you can take whatever train in between. For example, I am in Basel and I need to go to Zurich, I just buy a ticket from Basel to Zurich and I can take a TGV, a regional train, inter-regional train, IC train, it doesn't matter, it's always the same price. Then we have the different type of tickets. We start with the single journey ticket. First of all, we have the point-to-point -point ticket. So as I said, 
from Basel to Zurich. It can be one way or it can be single and return. When you buy the single and return, of course, you buy them together and basically the return is valid for one day or until 5 a.m. the next morning. You can buy also a multiple journey ticket, so up to five journeys or you can buy the city ticket which is basically the ticket for the train so for example Basel to Zurich and then with the city ticket you can also take every type of public transportation in Zurich so bus and trams when you buy the point-to-point -point ticket for example Basel to Zurich you have to go via specific cities you can take as I said the intercity so it's the train that basically stops only in Zurich or you can take for example an interregion with the point-to-point -point ticket you can get out in any of the cities in between your journey and then get on again and arrive at your destination all this within the validity of the ticket the second type of single journey ticket is the super saver ticket so basically it's the point-to-point -point ticket but the sooner you buy it the cheaper it is and you can arrive up to 70% discount on the original price it's exactly the same of a point-to-point -point ticket but basically discounted with day passes you can travel everywhere in switzerland using public transport a normal day pass is 75 swiss francs then there is the saver day pass so the earlier you buy your day pass the cheaper it is it starts from 29 swiss francs and you can buy it up to the day before of your travel so you cannot buy it on the same day of your travel the price goes from 29 swiss francs to 75 swiss francs which is the normal full price so the sooner you buy it the cheaper it is there is also a multiple day pass which is basically a six times one day pass and you can use basically this day pass in non-consecutive days and it costs 450 swiss francs then there are other special day passes for example for children for school for dogs for bikes but you can check this out on the sbb website for international travelers so people that are not resident in switzerland there is also a special ticket which is the swiss travel pass which allows unlimited travel on nearly all transportation means in switzerland there is the normal swiss travel pass which you can take for three four six eight or 15 consecutive days or the swiss travel pass flex which you can take for three four six eight or 15 non-consecutive days but days in a month this swiss travel pass basically allows you unlimited transport on train buses tram boats on panoramic trains you only need the seat reservation you can enter in up to 500 museums all over the country some mountain excursions are included in others you have 50% off and in some leisure activities that are also related to SBB you get a 30% off there is another type of ticket it's not really a ticket it's more a discount card which is the Swiss half fare and it's basically a ticket that it's valid one month so you should do it really if you plan to stay in Switzerland for at least one month that gives you 50% off when you purchase the tickets of any type of transportation mean so train buses trams boats cable cars excursions any type of city transport you always get 50 percent off in combination with the half fare card you can also buy the leisure travel card which gives you 20 or 30 days in a year of unlimited travels on trains trams bus and boats for people that are resident in switzerland and that travel very often outside of their own city there is a very important ticket which is the general abonnement which is also called GA. It's basically a ticket which allows you to travel for free basically throughout Switzerland by public transport. You can pay for this ticket for a whole year or you can pay for it monthly, but it has to have a validity of at least six months. 
Sarah from the future here. I actually just found out that there is the possibility to do the GA travel card for one month only. It's a little bit more expensive, but that's definitely worth it. Last but not least, the most important ticket for international train travelers is the Interrail. There is also an Interrail ticket in Switzerland, which is called Interrail Switzerland Pass. And this ticket gives you free unlimited travel within Switzerland for three, four, five, six or eight days within a month. This Interrail Pass, although is not valid on all type of public transport means is valid on most trains and on most boats some trains and some boats are discounted with this pass cable cars are discounted but the city transport is not included so these are the different type of train tickets and passes that you can find in switzerland of course if i forgot anything please let me know write me a comment in the comment section below and and next time I will explain you where and how to buy these train tickets I will give you some other general information regarding traveling in Switzerland by train and I will give you my personal tips so stay tuned subscribe like this video and see you in my next video bye